you might be able to go, you know, to middle America and learn about fentanyl where you can come to the source. The Cochise County Sheriff's Office hosts visits like Senator Vance's because they want people to be educated and actually see what's happening in Cochise County from the activity happening at the border. Congress has failed this border and this community. Drug and human smuggling. That's what law enforcement and community leaders want politicians to know is happening in Cochise County. In 2022, 23.37% of all fentanyl seized in the entire country. Millions of pills were seized within 20 miles of where you're seated right now. J.D. Vance's first trip to the border was brief and left little time for conversation with Mayor McCaw. I wanted to make sure that um, our story was being told. The story of high-speed chases through cities and more than 40,000 migrants being released in the county since May 2023. He clearly saw it today and he clearly sees our issues. Now, we need him to verbalize those issues back to Washington and do something about it. McCaw and Watkins say this isn't a Republican or Democrat issue because it's bigger than politics. A 12-year-old kid driving down the highway at 100 miles an hour, being forced to drive into oncoming traffic with two teenage kids in the trunk of the car. It's not humane. It's wrong and it needs to stop. They show off the border because they care and they need help from Washington. This is the single greatest threat to the citizens of Cochise County is these smuggling load drivers. Um, and whatever we got to do to bring attention to that, we will. In Sierra Vista, Alexis Ramanjulu, KGA 9.